I can't wait for you to meet him else, he's just. Perfect. Cleo sighed happily from her perch on the end of Ella's bed. Cleo and Ella had been roommates since their first year of university, where they had been in halls together. They had moved into a house share together for their second year and now, in their last year, Cleo had met someone at one of the socials she had attended. Tonight would be Ella's first time meeting him at the house party of one of their mutual friends. I'm sure he's great Cleo, Ella replied, smoothing her hands down the short, red mini dress she had selected for the evening. She gazed at her reflection with satisfaction, noting how the red satin hugged her full, round chest and skimmed over her slim waist and curved hips. She turned, examining how the dress hugged her shapely ass and smiled a slow smile. I am getting fun tonight, she thought to herself, while Cleo liked the commitment of a monogamous relationship, Ella was her opposite. She liked having good time, felt trapped in a relationship and relished the thought of getting fun as many random men and women as she could. Every time they went on a night out, Ella would invariably end up having fun with someone new and she had a bit of a reputation amongst her friends. Tonight she felt the need for someone and would be seeking a guy to, to spend time with her. Let's go babes, she said, stepping into her heels, grabbing her clutch and reaching out a hand for Cleo. Cleo grinned and grabbed her hand allowing her friend to pull her along behind her. When the girls reached the party, the music was already blaring and people were dancing. I have to go meet the drama society in the kitchen babes, will you be alright without me for a bit? Cleo leaned in to ask. Of course, go get some shots down you, I'm gonna grab a drink and have a dance. Ella yelled back. The two girls parted ways as Cleo weaved through the crowd towards the kitchen and Ella made her way to the makeshift bar on the coffee table. Ella made herself a rum and coke and took a huge swig before heading for the group of writhing bodies in the middle of the room. Couples were already grinding up against one another, but Ella was happy to dance alone amongst them. Some of the guys eyed her curves longingly but remained with their current dance partners as she started dancing. It wasn't long before she felt someone behind her and she turned to face them. A tall, well-built guy with dark hair and eyes was gazing down at her intently, chewing his lip. She swallowed hard as a wave of lust rushed over her at the sight if the stranger and without a word, she winked at him and turned back around, pressing her back to his front. She grabbed his hand and guided it down to her waist, accidentally grazing it over her chest on the way down. She felt him breathe in sharply and his arm tensed around her pressing her a little tighter against his front. They danced against each other for most of the song, and his hands skimming up her sides. By the end of the song, she was very excited and he was actually too. She turned her head slightly so she could speak to him and he leaned his head down to hear her. Wanna go somewhere a little more private? She murmured into his ear, she felt his fingers tighten on her hips as he rocked against her, yes, he replied, but we have to be quick, my girlfriend is here somewhere. Ella was unfazed by the mention of a girlfriend and instead she turned in his arms and spoke directly into his ear. Upstairs, second room on the right, five minutes, she said, nipping his earlobe. Just wanted a quick taste. He growled into her ear before releasing her. She staggered a little at the sudden lack of contact. Luck however was not on her side as she ran into Cleo on her way down them. Else, he's here, let's go find him, she shrieked excitedly. Ella clenched her thighs together in frustration. Can I come and meet him later? I was just a boo, there he is. Jack. Over here, Cleo called interrupting Ella's attempt at escaping this introduction in favor of hot talk with a stranger. Gritting her teeth in annoyance she turned to where Cleo was looking and held back her gasp at the sight before her. Her stranger was none other than Jack her roommate's boyfriend. Oh heck, she thought furiously watching as Cleo threw herself into his arms. He angled his hips away from her ensuring that Cleo wouldn't feel him and question what had gotten him going. Jack, this is Ella. Ella has been my roommate and best friend since freshers. Ella, this is Jack, my boyfriend. Cleo introduced beaming at them both. Jack swallowed hard, his eyes fixed on Ella's. Hesitantly he stuck out his hand, the very hand that had just been to cuing her, and pasted a fake smile onto his face. Nice to meet you Ella, he managed to say. Cleo has told me loads about you. She reached out her hand and slipped it into his for a lingering handshake, a pleasure to meet you Jack. She responded, subtly emphasizing the word, pleasure. His eyes widened as he picked up on her meaning however Cleo was thankfully oblivious. Let's go to the kitchen, they're playing drinking games in there. Cleo suggested grabbing Jack's other hand and nodding for Ella to follow them. 
As Cleo led them off, Ella leaned up to whisper in Jack's ear. I still want you to have fun with me later, she said. When they finally reached the kitchen she was happier than ever and it took everything she had not to just end her friendship with Cleo and talk with Jack then and there. Later she thought, I'll have fun with him later. Shots were distributed as they all stood in a circle and they began to play a reversed version of Never Have I Ever where people had to drink if they hadn't done the thing. Ella, having been a bit of a free girl for the last few years remained relatively sober and she was surprised to see that Jack barely drank too. Cleo however ended up drinking a lot and was unsteady on her feet by the time it was Ella's turn. Never have I ever had fun in public, Ella said smirking as she watched Cleo down another shot. Her eyes met Jack's, who was staring at her with heat in his eyes as he continued to not drink. My turn, Cleo slurred smiling drunkenly, never have I ever been in love. Rolling her eyes, Ella finally lifted the shot to her lips and took it. She was surprised to see Jack do the same, though Cleo was distracted by trying to remain upright. Never have I ever had fun with a friend's partner, Jack said, his gaze resting heavily on Ella. Most of the group lifted their shots to drink but Ella hesitated for a moment, staring back at Jack. Yet, she mouthed at him before doing her own shot. She saw him subtly adjust himself as his eyes skimmed her body in anticipation. Cleo staggered a little then, forcing Jack to reach out to catch her. I think I need to sit down for a bit babe, she slurred, grabbing his arms. Let's go find a seat then Cleo, he said, shooting one last promise filled glance back at Ella before escorting his girlfriend to a sofa. Ella continued to enjoy the party though she didn't drink anything more after the game ended. She felt a slight twinge of guilt at getting Cleo so wasted, but the only way Ella would get to talk to him that night was if Cleo was out of the picture. She moved back to the dance floor joining some acquaintances from her lectures as she scanned the room for Jack and Cleo. She soon found them on a sofa nearby. Jack was sitting on the arm swigging from a plastic cup and Cleo was curled up on the seat beside him almost unconscious with his jacket over her. Ella danced her way across the room closer to where Jack and Cleo sat. She managed to catch his eye and he sat up a little, eyes fixed on her. She danced seductively, as her hands roamed over her body freely while she looked suggestively at him. His eyes darkened with desire as he watched her. Jack glanced suddenly down to check on Cleo aware that he was very obviously looking at her best friend but smiled with relief when he realized she was completely passed out. Returning his attention to Ella he openly made a contact with her eyes. She bit her lip hungrily. Glancing down at Cleo, she noted that she was completely passed out and so she nodded her head sharply towards the stairs. He nodded while the other partygoers continued on obliviously. Smirking, she turned away and pretended to drop something. She heard a sharp intake of breath from him before she straightened and walked to the stairs, trailing her finger up the banister as she glanced over her shoulder at him. She made it into the room she had specified previously, knowing from her previous visits that the room belonged to one of the housemates who was on holiday. She had just sat on the end of the bed when the door opened and Jack stepped in closing it behind him. He leaned back against the door. Lock the door, she said, he obeyed turning the lock with a click before storming over to her and dropping to his knees, you thought it was a good idea to taunt me like you did downstairs? He murmured, staring down at her, your best friend could have woken up at any point and caught you flashing me, how would you have explained that? I would have told her that my clothes were in your front pocket and that I need to borrow you for the night. She replied gasping, I'm just me? He asked, oh heck, she gasped, no, you're good figure and sharp mind too, he teased her with his figure, oh heck you look so good. She moaned, they enjoyed their conversation between each other, heck you're incredible at that. She sighed at him as he lifted his head, your taste in books so good. He growled, am I think it might be my turn to show more of the books I like to read, she said, he groaned as she showed him the list of her favorite books, Oh wow you have such a good taste in books, he panted, he gazed down at her, tell me your favorite movies, she said huskily, he showed her his favorite movies and she liked that so much, get on the bed and let's watch some movies. He commanded, am you want to watch some movies? She asked slipping up onto the bed, I want to show you this movie, I'm sure you will definitely like it. He spoke low, um, show me this movie please, I want to watch it, you will watch this movie with me, she said. You're such a movie enjoyer begging your friend's boyfriend to watch movies with you. He whispered harshly into her ear, Ah, yes, I wanna watch this movie. 
She answered, she didn't think she had ever been so excited before and knew that if Jack didn't watch that movie with her soon she would go insane. Damn you're loving this movie. He grunted into her. Yes, this this my favorite movie, just look at this giant robot, I love it. She gasped, Cleo won't let you watch movies with her like this. She gasped, I'm going to remember how it felt watching movies with you, he replied, when I watch some movies with her, I'll creep into your room and watch movies with you too. Can't believe how lucky I am that you're her roommate. Oh god yes I wanna try it, she moaned, feeling her body begin to tense. I'm gonna watch movies with you every night, he grunted, oh yes Jack I love it, she screamed, I think we need to finish watching movies for tonight, he asked, well I guess so, we need to finish for now, she said, well that was the best movie I've ever watched. She gasped, rolling onto her back to face him, I can't believe we did this when my girlfriend is passed out downstairs. He said, yeah, that was wild. She said, you're insane. He exclaimed, slipping his shirt back on and running a hand through his hair. Um, only for that incredible movie. She smiled as he bit his lip and groaned. I have to get back to Cleo. He grabbed his phone out of his pocket and snapped a picture of her on the bed. I'm going to look at you remembering how good the movies were. I look forward to watch again. He unlocked the door and returned to the party, leaving her alone. Best party ever, she thought. Make sure to like this video, 